Hello and welcome to another Gear FX tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to get the best easy cap quality on YouTube. And this shows how to fix it on Windows 7 and get it in colour and the sound working and everything like that. First you need to plug your, your CD in to your computer, install the driver and install the ULED which is there on my computer. And then fit, you need to open up the device. So when you find your device on your computer, click start, right click computer, hit properties. And then click device manager and then yours might be here with a little um, like a caution sign on it to say the, the driver is not properly installed mine's in here but I can do it again I'm going to select it it should be say something USB device like that it says SciTech or something like that it's like not a proper, it's not the DC60 one I don't think click that and then hit this button browse, browse your computer for it and then Choose where it is, but I'll give down. I'll give a download link in the description for it. There's mine. Mine's a 64-bit computer, so it depends what your computer is, and it should say there what your computer is. So then you just install it like that. Next, the mine's already done because I've already done it once. Okay. So then once you've done that, if you go and get the sound to work, it should once you've like installed that, you might have to reboot your computer. It should be here. USB in audio device. Right click. Hit update driver software again and then hit browse my computer let me pick from a list of drivers and then there should be these three I can't remember I think I'll use this one now but mine wasn't working so you just keep testing them out until it works mine's a top one but you might I'm not sure okay and then once that's done easy cap ready to be done probably have to be your computer a few times and then you need to open up ULED uh, you'll need Sony Vegas for this just YouTube how to get Sony Vegas for free or if you want to buy it you can I didn't okay there's ULED <clears throat> tick 16 by 9 box, make sure that's ticked and don't show that one. And then click Video Studio Editor. <clears throat> Let's give it some time. And I shouldn't have done that. Because I've just frozen the computer out. There you go. Capture. Capture video. And my settings already save, I think, so it should just show up now if it's plugged in. Come on, come on. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, you let's not press. Oh, there we go. And then you, I've already done this, but if you're first, to, if you're new to you, you want to do this file, hit preferences, capture, and allow access to capture device settings, which gives you all these options here. So, first off, what you want to do, you might not have this, you want to input source, video, composite, NTSC, NTSC, and then USP audio device and yeah 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 okay and then you next want to go to MPEG settings and choose this one DVD and NTSC 720 by 480 hit that change this this to default ratio 16 by 9 hit constant bit rate 8000 or you can use 9500 and you can change this if you want to I just leave mine in default Hit OK, and then if yours might not be in colour, but mine already is because I've already used ULED and it saved it. It's capture properties, properties, and then choose N NPSC underscore 433 like that, and then it should go in colour. Okay, if yours is the the other device, not the DC60, you won't have all them colour options or them. You won't have all these options like this one to be missed out so you can't get it in colour I'm not sure why that is but that's it hit ok just to show that it's in PAL 60 I'll just start Modern Warfare 2 up just waiting for it to load oh, and there's Modern Warfare 2 videos up there as well but I'll just start it anyway there you go Okay, so then once you've 
I've done that, you can um, hit capture video and you can start it. Um, but I'll just do it anyway. Video is easy, cap yeah. It's capture video. I'll just give it about five seconds. Okay, and then once you've done that, that's the ULED part done. And now you want to open Sony Vegas. You might have Pro 8, Pro 7, or not even Pro, but it doesn't really matter which one you have, it's all the same. First thing you want to do is go to File, Properties, and you want to go HDV 720p, 120 by 720. I mean 1280 by 720, 29.97 frames per second. Hit that one. Leave all this as it is, like that. Yeah, just change it up to best. And then you can start on your project with these settings if you want to. Audio, I usually leave that the same. But you want to save it as a template as well, so just type in YouTube or hey, good quality and then save it so you don't have to make it again. See, there's mine. It's all the same. It should start with new. Yeah, start and that's it. Uh, hit OK. And that's it. And then you want to import your video. Import media. Give videos. Easy cat. That's it. Open. There it is. Drag it in. And that's it there. If you want to make the video better, you can add like colour things to make the colour better. But some people don't like to do that. It's video effects. There's one colour corrector. I've got a preset called Xbox, but you can just drag reset drag reset to none in. Put it on top. But it, this is the settings I have. Saturate, just pause the video and copy them down. Just them four there like that. Okay, that's that one. And then there's colour curves, just drag reset to none in again, but I've already got one saved. And then all you do is just make it look a bit like that. You can just drag it around like that and it just changes the colour lighter and darker. That's the second one. And there's another one. There's two more. Saturation adjustment. Adjust even. Drag reset to none in. I've got a preset. And just copy them down. Just pause the video and put them in. And there's one more. Sharpen. Just drag reset to none in. And that's it. You don't have to change that. And that's how to get that. I'll do the colours. You may not like it. You don't have to do them. That's just optional. Now for the rendering. Select your video. The bit that you want to render. Like that. File. Click on render as. Again, I've got my settings. That, that's when I make HDPGR, which I don't have. But go on to Windows Media Video V11. Like that. And then I've already got one under YouTube settings. But you want to choose seven six MA that one. This one here I've got MBPS HD that. Okay, and then hit custom. But I've already got one saved, so I'll just show you this and you can copy them. Custom. Include video, change keep this like this. Video high definition, twelve eighty by seven twenty, five per second, video smoothness four. Just make sure that bit rate is at five. Index just leave that on project best. And then hit OK. Call it what would you just call it what you want. Mm, I'm just gonna call it the lot. Yeah, random res. Just hit save. And it may take a it depends how long it is. It's not that long, but it's only a five second video, but it depends how fast your computer is and Sony Vegas doesn't really do uh well. so and that's it. And then just once it's finished, upload that directly to YouTube. And that's it. Thank you for watching. More tutorials coming later.